simpler. All right, we're going to give the guy a rematch. Uh, will I play Pro League this year? Yeah, I'm certainly intending to. Um, I'm actually, for the moment, the manager of the London Towers. Um, we reached the last 16 this year. Um, and yeah, we're certainly going to have a team for next year as well. All right, I'm just going to play this interesting sideline against the Sicilian. I've played 3c3 for a number of years now. And I have to say e5 is not a move you see all that often. Now the main tactic here is you obviously can't play knight takes e4 because of queen a4 check, picking up the knight. But the way that he's playing is kind of interesting, I suppose. Hmm. I think knight a3 is an interesting move here. Just trying some knight b5 ideas. And okay, I get him to play this. And then I can... What's the accurate way of doing this? I can play knight c4. And then meet knight c6 with d5. And then my idea was to meet b5 with uh, d takes e5 like this. So we're getting quite a tactical start to this game, but it looks to me like I have picked up a fairly comfortable pawn with a with a very promising position to boot. So things are looking up. And just trying to play that a little bit faster as well. Is there another tactic here? The question is, is it safe to play queen d5? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No, I think I think it's sort of safe, but it's so unnecessary. Considering how good the position is, that I'm going to simply retreat the bishop back like this. Do I go f4 and try for a really quick win? I think I'm going to play queen h5. Again, just want to bring all of my pieces into the game. It's actually really awkward for him to develop his pieces here. So he moves this knight, this pawn is dropping. Yeah, I'm getting to him to play this move here, which he can't be all that happy with. I'll just put my queen on h6. And I would like to win this game fairly quickly if I can. And then find a new opponent. But I suppose you have to give every game your full attention. Um... Now, f4 is the really aggressive move, but is there any reason not to just take it slowly and play this? don't think so. Again, I'm the one with a good position. Uh, maybe I'm making this... Maybe I should have spent a bit more time analysing that move. I think knight b6 was a more dangerous reply than what he's gone for. Well... I'm going to force your knight to go back to d7, I think, here. And then bring the rook across. Again, just want to use all of my pieces. So, yeah. Uh, rook e8. What am I down to? The... I feel like h4, h5 is going to be a really good way of increasing the pressure. But again, I'm kind of trying to look out for tactics here. What about if I just bring the queen in? And I was going to meet knight f6 with this. Okay, but now I can play g4, right? And if knight f4, bishop f6. I mean, I was trying to set up some kind of knight d7, rook takes d7, bishop f6, but the idea here is the same. I simply want to give mate on g7. I mean, I think for the moment... Uh, I'm going to say if you're in chat and you have a rating of 1900 and above, then you can uh, then send me a challenge on chess.com and, uh, and I will accept it. If you let me know your name in the chat window. 
Okay, so it's not quite mate yet. Because if bishop takes, then pawn takes. But we can't be far off. Is f4 going to be a nice finish here? We're going for a, a spectacular finish here. So knight takes allows queen g7 mate, and pawn takes, I want to go rook f3. Guess maybe bishop takes e4 is the scary move. Okay, that's what he's gone for. I kind of want to go for a, a give up all of my pieces for mate idea here. Does it work? Rook d3, rook f3. I don't see the defense. Well, I'm prepared to lose all of my pieces in the name of entertainment. It's going to give up all my pieces time. So now I'm threatening queen takes h7, king takes, rook h3, rook h8. Checkmate. So bishop takes, my idea is to play rook f3 and renew this threat. You can take my bishop, you can take my rook. I just want two pieces left over. For what would be called a pure mate after bishop takes c4. So I would have only these two pieces left and they'd both be contributing in the mate. Does he have a defence? Now g5 is a move, but obviously I can play bishop takes d3 or even just f5 if I want to keep pushing for the same motif. And his pieces are just... Oh, he's resigned. That's a shame. All right, well, let's just see that on the board. Bishop takes c4. Queen takes h7. Obviously there's rook here, but... We want to do it the proper way. Rook h3, king g8, and rook h8 checkmate. With the two pieces uh, that I have left that I haven't sacrificed delivering the checkmate. Excellent. 